Hi, Derek Armson here at Authority Force, and today I want to talk about schema and rich snippets. Now, if you know anything about the SEO community, you'll hear, you'll, you'll know that um, uh, over the last uh, few months, probably since the back end of 2015, people have been waxing on about uh, schema and and how you should be using schema and rich snippets on your website to help Google find you and understand in a little bit more detail what your website is all about. Um, so uh, Lee and I have been out there and doing a bit of research on this and worked out what it's all about and, and, and what you should do about it. Um, now, what rich snippets do, I just found this website here, and this shows you and I gives you an idea of what rich snippets are about. You can see that it's put the star ratings and how many reviews and things like that um, that that particular best chocolate chip cookie recipe has had. Um, and you see things like uh, IMDb, which is the films and TV database, um, have, have added this here uh, as, as rich snippets. Uh, schema.org. So what you should be doing is adding these to your site. Now it took us a while to find out how to do this but uh, we have managed to uh, to work it out um, and I'm in one of our little test sites that we use here Extreme Workout Results. Um, now the first thing to say is that we found probably the best plugin to use is the all-in-one schema.org rich snippets plugin. Now I'm on the download page for it here and I'll show you why I am there. Because if we go to install plugins and we do a search for all in one, oh, spell it right, schema, the plugin isn't found. <laughs> so what I did was I went to the actual page, the wordpress.org page for it. Uh, which you can see here and I will put on the post uh, on the site as well so you can go and get this downloaded um, and I've downloaded it onto my own machine so I'm going to add uh, from my own machine rather than from um, rather than from uh, the internet so we will browse hopefully it'll go no, it didn't take me to the right file never mind never mind let's go and find it Bear with me, sing yourself a song. There we go, install now. I'm sure you know how to install a plugin. Activate the plugin. Now, what will happen is that a rich snippets tab will come up on your left hand sidebar. Um, all this really does is show you what the um, various rich snippets you can add are. So you don't need to add anything in here. I mean you can if you want and then that will apply this automatically to every item review you do. Um, but what actually happens if you go into the posts, please this works, oh no posts, let's try go pages. <laughs> um, so we've got a post in here about Beachbody and Tony Horton. And you'll see this tab appears. Configure your rich rich snippet. So what is this? It's an article. It could be a review. Um, it allows you to upload an image if you want um, for the article. So um, I'm not going to do that now. But in fact, we can use um, we can use this one here and insert that into it. So that that makes it the image for the post. Article name. So really I'm just getting the keywords in there, Beachbody and Tony Horton. And then um, I've used a different sort of um, term for Beachbody there. Um, the author is EW Results. And if that if I was using that on Authority Force, for example, I would use Derek Armson. And then the publisher is Extreme Workout Results. And again, 
with this, if it's if it's your own personal website, then great, use that. Um, use your or your personal name if it's your personal website. You can really dictate what you want in these, and you'll notice that the article name and the short description are very similar to the page title and the meta description as well. Uh, but this is just extra information that um, Google can use to really understand what your posts are about and you should have this on all of your websites. And you can upload um, a logo if you want as well, which I do on Authority Force, obviously, because we have a logo, but I haven't made a logo up for EW results yet, as it is only a test site. You then update your post, and there you are, done. That is how to add schema to your website. I hope you found that useful. I'll be back with more soon. Bye for now.